Full Metal Fury is released this past January for PCs and as an Xbox One console exclusive. This Switch port is the first since its debut and doesn't really add anything new. Why then would I bother playing through it again so soon, not even a year later? Well, it's simple. I feel that strongly about it. So, in case you missed my Xbox One review, let me give you the general rundown. The world is being ravaged by monstrous gods, and humanity has been caught in the crossfire. All that's left to defend the last dregs of humanity are four female heroes known as the Full Middle Furies, Alex the Fighter, Aaron the Engineer, Meg the Sniper, and Triss the Sentinel. At the basic level, you could call the game an old school brawler in the vein of Double Dragon, but it also has traces of bullet hell shooters in it, like Ikaruga. That is to say, you're not going to be simply pummeling through foes without resistance. Enemies and attacks will be firing from all directions, meaning you have to pay attention. With more players, it gets more chaotic to know what's going on, but that's only in the most intense situations. Foes can sometimes protect themselves with colored coated shells that can only be broken by that character's corresponding insignia. Triss, for example, can break through blue shells. Now, every heroine has four distinct moves. The basic attacks have no cooldown, but everything else does in one way or another. There's a lot to keep track of from the ways of enemies and the projectiles, the bubble colors, finding where you are, and being aware of your cooldowns. It may seem like a lot at first, but I liked how it felt different, but familiar, like a solid step forward for the genre. Plus, several mechanics help balance out in some of the more daunting encounters. For one, you get gold from battles. Even if you fail and are asked to continue or quit, you get to keep your gold no matter what, making even the most humiliating defeats seem worthwhile. If the game proves too difficult, even after using that gold to level up your character's skills or weapons, you can adjust the difficulty. And if you want to grind, you can certainly do that too, as you can replay missions over and over again from a world map similar to that of Super Mario World. I would also be ashamed if I didn't mention the chill music and the gorgeous pixel art. All in all, Full Metal Furies is just as great the second time around, and I feel the Switch is a far better home for a brawler of this caliber. It's a perfect blend of both new and old, and showcases just exactly how talented Celador Games is. Back in January, I thought for sure the rest of the world would also blow up with Full Metal Fury's love, but it kind of fell on deaf ears. Hopefully, this port will give it new life. I'll do my best to shout it from the rooftops once again because I stand by my comments from before and right now that this is one of the best games of the year. My name is Tristan and you've been watching Reaction Examiner, where I do my best to create interesting videos to entertain and educate you fine folks. Be sure to subscribe, that helped me out a lot. And if you want to check out more, be sure to read my work over on The Gamer, where I write fun little listicles. You can also drop by my personal website, Game Jerk, where I I post other articles and reviews. All these links and more can be found in the description below. Thanks and see you all next time.